All right, boo, what kind of man are you looking for? Um, he has to be God fearing, smart, intelligent, romantic, um, independent. I prefer like six foot. I want to look up to my man. Um, I prefer slim and petite, muscular. Okay. Um, okay. You prefer slim and petite and muscular? Mm-hmm. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again. And I'm back with another episode of Fullery. All right, man, let's jump into this real quick. I just want to talk about how delusional some of you ladies are out here. I don't know what's going on and why you guys thinking one plan fits all. Because all you ladies seem to have the same type of dude that y'all requested on these dating sites. You know, God-fearing, six foot, 100K or more, blase, 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 blah. All of you want the same thing, regardless of how you look. So let's jump into this, man. Kendra G got this girl, and uh, it's just, I, I don't know. You know, you try to be nice about stuff and all this and this, but sometimes some people need to just be told. I'm just going to be honest. They just need to be told. But I ain't going to go too much, man. Y'all know what to do. Hit that, that subscribe and then hit that notification. And then let's just jump right into this, man. I'll let y'all see a little bit of this first, and then we're going we're gonna to talk about this shit, man. This is crazy. Let's go. Hello? Hey. What's your name, baby? Jazzy J. Well, Jasmine. Have you been here before? Yes, like a year and a half ago, I had a little cheetah print on with the cheetah scarf. And I think I got the wrong perspective because it was a lot of African men like hitting me up. <laughs> well, they gonna hit you up, girl. <laughs> now that that's that's the number one uh, thing I have to make my black women aware of. The African men gonna hit you up. So you wanna you wanna break it down, be more clear this time? Yes, I want somebody in the United States, American. United States American. Well, let's start from the top, Jazzy. Where you call me from, honey? Portsmouth, Virginia. Portsmouth, Virginia. Um, how old are you? Thirty-three. I would be thirty-four in twelve days. Wait a minute. Now she says she's thirty-three, about to be thirty-four. She's looking a little older. And I I know I'm not the only one that see that. She looks a little older. The hair, uh, the wig is not working. The outfit, the heavyweight is. Uh, she's living a very old lifestyle. You understand what I'm saying? Everything about her is real. Like we say in back in the, in the south, old timey. She looks old timey. You know what I mean? So that they say back in the day we was little coming up. She old timey, and that person that wore them old clothes and crazy hair and all that jazz. But that's how she looks. I'm a Pisces. 34 and 12 days. Be 34 and 12 days. Um, you're a Pisces. What do you do for a living? I'm a help desk tech at the shipyard and I also work at H and I Block temporarily. So help desk respectful. tech at the shipyard. So I work at a help um uh, help help what is it? Help desk? Yeah, tech. Mm -hmm. So yeah, with okay. computers and stuff. And you work at a shipyard? Yeah. Well, I work from home, but I work for the shipyard. Work for the shipyard. Okay. So we got Jazzy, um, Portsmouth, Virginia, 34 Pisces. Do you have any children? No. No children. All right, boo, what kind of man are you looking for? Um, He has to be God-fearing, smart, intelligent, romantic, um, independent. I prefer, like, six foot. I want to look up to my man. Want to be six foot? Mm -hmm. How tall are you, Jazzy? I'm five four. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. She's five four. Talking about she need a man six feet tall to look up to. I mean, come on, man. Like, 
But like I said, everybody trying to fit in the same category with the God fearing, six feet tall. But you're five four, looking like you probably 240, 250. And you looking for a probably a top G type dude. And I say everybody's on online asks for the same thing. But see, I done figured it out. See, they try to come on these dating sites and like, well, I'm just gonna put it out there and see what I get. I'm gonna ask for these guys. Now, if you get one of these dudes, you're going to hate it. That's all I can say. But let's see what else she got, man. This 5'4 shit. Yeah. Six feet tall. Give me a six foot man. Okay, well, you know, 5'10, you'll be looking up to your man still. Right. That's appropriate. <laughs> but you five still prefer 6 feet. 5'10 or above is good. Okay, 5'10 or above. I got to got her down two inches, fellas. Um, <laughs> any more requirements before we go to your deal breakers? Um, I prefer slim and petite, muscular. Okay. Um, okay. You prefer slim and petite and muscular? Mm hmm Did I hear you correctly? Yes. So you want to be slim, petite, and muscular? Mm hmm Respectfully so, and I'm not trying to be offensive. Do you have any of those things? No, I don't. So you just want the opposite of you? Right. So you want to date a man that was bigger? Mm -mm. Why not? I mean, I feel like, you know, opposites attract each other. Like, I don't want somebody the same as me. You don't want you don't want somebody the, you don't want nobody the same as you? You know, like heavy set, unless you know we're trying to work in the gym together, of course. I mean, if you're trying to lose weight, but yeah. Are you trying? I'm and I'm trying to be as sensitive, but I have to just ask this because you're saying this. If he's trying to lose weight, you would date him. Is are you trying to lose weight? Yeah, I've been trying. It's a struggle. Okay. So you only date a man that is bigger if he's trying to lose weight? Yeah, like yeah, if he's willing to work out with me, yeah, like a gym partner. Okay. But you just couldn't accept him as he is? No. No, no. no. Now, tell me if this wasn't the craziest thing y'all ever heard. This, I'm telling you, you don't want someone that's made up like you. And then you say you want a six-foot-tall man, but then you want a petite, muscular man. So that's short, small, muscular man versus... You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what you want. And then you saying, the only way you would take a bigger man, if he was working out, trying to lose weight, but you saying you haven't lost any weight, but then you want the man to help you lose weight. So I'm just going to lay it out to you ladies who think your man's supposed to come into your life and help you get on your diet and help you lose that weight that you took 34 to 40 years to put on. That shit ain't going to happen. Nobody wants to come in with a project. You should be doing this work before you get out here on this dating scene. I'm just going to be honest. Ain't nobody sitting around. You sitting up here trying to make yourself seem like, oh, I'm working now. I'm going to the gym. No, you're not. It's a struggle. It sure is. But, you know, it's crazy what these people want, man. I'm telling you, it's something in the water. It's something in the water, but she got more, man. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Um, someone that smokes, um, too clingy, um, always calling, um, someone that's always saying what you're doing. I mean, just don't. A uh, person don't have no conversation, basically. Like, don't know how to conversate. Don't have no goals in life. Basically. Okay. Okay. Basically, no goals in life. Oh, we already got to looks earlier because you just told me and your desires, but you want to look a certain way. You already said that, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, and that is, and you want to you want to give it one more time. Small, petite, and muscular. Yes. And well, small, you want to be six feet. Yeah, like tall and slim, basically. 
The white people just say petite. I mean, isn't that what that is? I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, because I would think, to me, petite is small, like short. But you want tall, because you said earlier you want 5'10 or a 6. Are you saying you want to be slim? Yeah, like muscular and slim. Yeah, basically. Those are the guys you normally date, I'm assuming. Yeah. So what happened with those men? Mm, I mean, it just didn't last long. It wasn't meant to be. Okay. Okay. Now, should he make a certain amount of money? Mm, I would say like 50000 I mean, okay. that's how much I make. 50K. Do you want him to be in Portsmouth, Virginia? No, just in the United States. Just anywhere in the United States. All right, let's do the Kendrick Cam. Okay. I see the super chats. I will read them after. Okay. All right, we see you. You turn around on him. <laughs> turn around on him. All right, Jazzy, Portsmouth, Virginia, 34. What's the age range you would do? Um, my age, I would say 33 to like 37. 33 to 37. Um, you have no children. Could the guy have kids? I would say probably two. You got two. Do you no want kids yourself? Two. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. All right. Um, when was your last relationship? Mm, a year or so ago. Okay, a year or so ago. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Mm, I don't want to answer. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. I would say I could be mean sometimes, I guess, like get upset and like hold it against them, like, I guess, like, stay mad too long. Um, let's see. Don't want to stay mad too long. Um, you said three, right? Yes. Um, um I can't. Think of it right now. Can you come back to it? Now, you've been on the Kendra G show before. You said it earlier. You wore your cheetah print and all this other stuff, and a lot of Africans hit you up. So, why wouldn't you know the question she's going to ask? She always asks the same stuff. But you sitting here saying, well, I uh, basically got a bad attitude and you hold on to it. And uh, you don't want to say what else. You just act like you don't know. But come on, ladies. How can you sit here and say y'all want all these things, but you have pretty much no flaws whatsoever? And like Kim already say, sometimes you got to go sit in that mirror and, and look at what you got going on. Maybe being 5'4", 33 years old, probably 250, 260. You didn't have any kids, so there's no reason to be that big. You're dressed like somebody's grandmother. I'm just not trying to be mean, but she is. Maybe that's not allowing you to get the dudes you want. Because you can be big and fly. That's not an excuse. But if you big and frumpy, that's frumpy. You're going to have some problems. You, you can't just throw on wigs and put on some and think you hot. No. You got to go ask somebody about that shit, man. Come on. Come back to your three flaws? Mm-hmm. Um, we can. Um, I got some pain questions. You want me to read them to you? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's just go over these pain questions. Now, you know because of your body type, girl, this is going to be a conversation. I'm letting you know what it is. Uh, not your body type, but your body type request. Okay. So, Mr. Aon, Mr. Aon says... He's a man that's in the gym four to six times a week. He's in very good shape, and it takes a lot of effort. 
He wants to know what's your explanation for why he should want to date a woman that has your body type. Oh, uh, I mean, that's because I'm heavy set. Doesn't mean that I'm unattractive. Like, what's the problem with that? Like, in regards to me being heavy set, does it make me unattractive? Or, I mean, am I sloppy? Is it? I mean, so if I was slim, I mean, it wouldn't be a problem. But, I mean, every time, like, a heavyset girl is a, comes up here is a problem. So. Well, let me say what, this, Jazzy J. The reason why I think this is going to be a conversation is because you, out of your own mouth, said you would not date a heavyset guy unless he was willing to work out. So I think that that's what that is i mean you know i know we say opposites attract but honestly law of attraction is law of attraction right so you should become who you want to attract so i think that is going to be the reason why people are going to sit on that because you are on record saying you would not date yourself so let, let's just be clear about this she's saying because she's heavy she this and this this and this no you're not because you're heavy you're unattractive some guys may not find you sexually attractive. Let's put it that way. So a lot of guys don't want to be with larger women, all right, for a thousand reasons. You saying, I don't want somebody big because I don't want nobody like me. So if you don't want somebody like you, why would I want somebody like you? You see what I'm saying? And most people out here, if you want a guy that's fit and working on himself, trying to be the best he can be, and you're gonna sit over here and look like like a like a garbage pile or whatever. No. And I know guys that was in the fitness and they tried to date like larger women and all that. The only thing they end up doing was trying to get them to start working out. And then they end up breaking up because the girl didn't want to do it. So why get somebody? that not having no type of discipline or whatsoever, don't want to do it, but you want this fit guy to walk around with so you can show him off. That's all you want. You want some man candy on your arm. Let's just be real. Just come out and say that shit. You want some man candy. But but you got to do something, man. He got to want to be with you. I've seen some large women that keep it nice, but they, you know, this is not keeping it nice. You just got something on right now. You know, crazy wig. Like I said, the clothing, clothing like some some old people you pulled out the closet. You're 33 years old. Why are you dressed like you're about 60? Is it me? I mean, y'all let me know in the comments. If I, I mean, if I'm being that way, I don't know. Y'all let me know. I'm talking. I'd be a little off, but shit. I guess basically, um, I guess basically, um. <laughs> so that's so 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 that's where it, and I. Again, I know weight is very, it's a tough topic, but we have to break through this tough topic of conversation because we want results, right? I'm team results. And if you want to get what you want to get, then we have to have these real talk conversations with love. But when you come on and you essentially say you're not going to date a guy that essentially would be your body type, you should expect this type of reaction. Right. You know, I don't think, and I will say this, I don't think unattractive means, I don't, excuse me, I don't think heavy means unattractive. I don't think that. Also, heavy doesn't mean you're going to be single. There's women who are in top shape and are not in relationships. So it doesn't always go that way. But I just think that you have to be prepared for the cousins and the comment section to challenge that because you said you want a person, and that's why I asked you more questions about it, just just having real talk. We're going to have grown woman combo. Right. <laughs> okay. But let's keep going because we're almost done. You gave me your three flaws, but you have to work on. Um, I would say like, if I have an issue with something, talk about it. I kind of like use silent treatment. Like if I'm going through problems with something, um, Okay. And um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm very independent. Um, I got my own place. Um, I know how to cook, clean. Um, very smart. I mean, I got my bachelor's in computer science. Graduated 
um, from HBCU, 3.67. I mean. Okay. For anybody looking to hire someone in computer science, she just gave a pretty good resume. I mean, yeah, she went to a HBCU, 3.6 GPA, computer science, bachelor's degree. Okay, cool. Don't do jack for a man, though. She ain't said not one thing that impressed a man. Yes, we know you cook. You say you clean, you're supposed to clean. You got your own place, you're supposed to have your own place. What else you got? What else? What will make a man say, okay, I'm going to hit this up, see what's going on? Ladies, we don't care about that. Not at all. None whatsoever. We probably won't even ask about it. Maybe once. And once you tell us, we're not going to ask again. So, so you know, we don't want your resume. We want to know about you. All right? Okay. Let's do it. We got Jazzy Portsmouth. When was the last relationship again? Um, Like a year or so ago. A year or so ago. Okay. Um, did he fit your appearance requirement? No. <laughs> no. Have you ever dated a man that has the aesthetic that you require? You said you have, right? Yeah, I have. You have, you have. That's right. So Jazzy Portsmouth VA, um, 34. You could be anywhere just in America, Pisces. Um, she works at the help desk and also at the shipyard. She has no children. Do you want kids? Yes, I do. Okay. So date 33 to 37, make at least 50K. All right, honey, how can the guy reach out to you? Um, I'm most I'm mostly on Facebook, so Okay. Well, again, she wants no men in Africa. No men in Africa. She made that clear. You gotta be in the USA. And you're okay with him having kids, two kids, right? Yes. All right, there we are. All right, honey girl. Will you keep me posted how it goes, baby? Okay, I will. Have a good one. You too. Bye, Bye. baby. Um, okay, so that's it on this right here. Like I said, it wasn't a lot going on. Just trying to point out how delusional average, and she's a little bit low average to be real because of weight and all this, but what they're looking for. And this is why so many people are single because they got this fairy tale idea that I'm going to get this dude that's going to be immaculate, ripped up, all the, you know, like I said, all the eye candy you can get. And I'm just going to be a lazy slob sitting around here. They are not going to stay with you, young ladies. They are not going to do it. Get yourself in the gym. Y'all always talking about working on yourselves, your self, what, self-help, love, whatever y'all be doing. Do it. But throw the gym in there. Throw in there working, like dieting, eating healthy. All that stuff make a difference. You'll see a big difference. You lost that weight. I'm telling you. You lost the weight. A lot of guys be looking at you different. Y'all can say what you want to say. But it is what it is. Y'all can get upset, get in your feelings. It is what it is. Men are visual. They look at what they like, then they approach. That's just how it is. Well, guys, that's all I got for you. Y'all know what to do before I get up out of here. Hit that subscribe, like, and share. Definitely comment. Let me know what y'all think about the young lady and how she's approaching this. Is she approaching it right? I think she is approaching this in the worst way, trying to tell people, I don't want nobody like me. That's the worst thing you can ever do. So with that being said, it is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace.